Tress. What's going on guys? So today's video, oh wait a minute. We can finally do this now, can't we? Yes we can. And so today's video guys, we're actually gonna, we're actually doing an outdoor review because the, we're still in lockdown a little bit until tomorrow and we did not know that, so we can't film inside. So we're gonna have to hold the mic like this. So today's review, we're actually gonna be doing Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cool. This will be a decant review, but let's just get it started. Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cool was launched in 2019 and is considered an aromatic fougère. The note breakdown for this one here is gonna be, top notes are gonna be mint, bergamot, mandarin, and anise with the mid being almond, watery notes, and neroli, and the base is gonna be vetiver, and broxen, and patchouli. So Rush, what do you get out of that strip? Now, before you, you speak, that's been on there for the last 15 minutes, give or to take. So, what do you get, Rushy? I definitely get the, the embroxin. The yeah. first thing you notice is the embroxin. Okay. But you still get that, that Guerlain creaminess. True. I like it. It's, it's, it's different from the other uh, Guerlain ideals. It's uh, more, shall I say, pumped. More what? Pumped. It's like pumped oh. up. The okay. juice is pumped up. All right. It almost seems stronger than the others. I like it. For me, this opens up citrusy, but also a little bit spicy. Not a whole lot, but also quite minty green. Do you get the mint? The mint's starting to come through, yeah. Okay, so for me, like the mint on my skin is straight off the bat, but also with like a faint spiciness and also that uh, the citruses. The citruses don't really retain all that long but it does become nutty. So that almond does come mm -hmm. out front and center. Like that almond accord is very much just like all the others, would you yeah. say? Yeah, it's, that's pretty standard. It's pretty standard to, to this line from Guerlain. And you also get the aquatic. Yeah, okay. All right. But um, as the, the dried up proceeds, you're still gonna get that minty green fresh and that freshness is pretty much through the entire scent life. But you're also go, gonna get a little bit of that creaminess as you stated. Mm -hmm. So it is like a, like a creamy, neroli, uh, nutty, almond. And then towards the base, it becomes like slightly woody. Not, it's not really noticeable. Like for me, it's citrusy, green, so loads of mint, slight spices. Uh, the, the main notes would be that mint, but also the, the creaminess from the neroli, from the neroli, but also that nutty almond accord. Mm -hmm. so. Yep, it has all that, plus the, 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 the aquatic comes through. You don't get a whole lot of patchouli though. No, and I also, like you said you get embroxen, I, I don't get I got embroxen right off of. I personally, I personally don't. So, uh, seasons, when do you think that this would be suitable? Summertime. Oh, just like today, today is like, um, like the humidity today is going to be 38 degrees Celsius, that's like mid to late 90s Fahrenheit. And this would perform very well in, in summer weather. So uh, versatility, I would say that this is more of a daytime casual kind of fragrance. Uh, like this would be like a daytime casual, but also just a white t-shirt and jeans. Yeah. It's a great fragrance for that, but I think it's suitable for, uh, for school, but also for work. This is a really good work scent in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. It, it's professional enough, it's fresh enough, and it does stand out. I, I don't want to say it's sexy, but you might get a compliment or two from this one here. Oh, I think you would. I actually think you would. I, I, I own the entire ideal line, and this would actually be in my top three uh, uh, favorites from that line. All right. Now, when it comes to the longevity, longevity on my skin was actually really good. I got eight to 10 hours, just like all the other uh, ideal fragrances, Ideal, they're all beast mode and they're all like pretty much eau de toilette, except for a few of them. But like the, for the performance, can't complain. Projection was more so on the moderate side and Siage was actually pretty good. Wife thought this one, wife thought it was very fresh, nutty, creamy and she does like this one quite a bit also she does get that anise because like she she just knows her spices price tag for this one here unfortunately this one is not being sold at the hbc or the hudson's bay company and it's not available on any of the online discounters but just keep looking as like i'm sure that they'll come and uh, restock but these are popular that these like get sold out real quick. This is a guaranteed compliment getter, I, I think. Especially okay. for summertime. I mean, I wouldn't be wearing this, I definitely wouldn't be wearing this in the gym, but for any other summertime activities, this would actually work really well. All right, okay. So, in the end, what, what do you got, uh, any final thoughts on your rating? Well, another, an, 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 it's another hit from the line. It's a good one. Same here. So, like, I love the, the minty green aspect, the almond accord, the creaminess, like, even if you're not a fan of Guerlain, you have to admit that whatever they put out is quality. Even if it's not 
a fragrance that works for your nose. I find that a lot of the stuff that they put out is of quality. And my rating out of five, this is gonna have to be a four and a half out of five. What do you give it? Oh, I'd give it a four and a half out of five. Okay, so I think that this would get a five out of five if it was more easily available out there. It's just not. And I think it's more available in Europe though, I believe. It makes sense. <laughs> so, all right guys, so that is our review of Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cool. So any other reviews that I've done from this brand, they will be in the description below. I'm gonna try and do a few more this summer of like uh, the Guerlain Homme that you gave me. And so yeah. that, the, uh, that, uh, that mojito one. I'm also gonna try and do some of the aqua allegory ones. Just they got some great scents out there. So guys, if you like this very video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Share the video, subscribe if you're new to this channel. We thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everyone.